In the previous lesson, you learned how to create your very own logo for your brand. And in this lesson, you are going to learn how to create a theme, which is the whole visualization concept and effect around your store. Now, there are paid themes and there are free themes, and you can definitely take my word for it, the free themes are more than enough to create a professional looking store and start generating sales and profit. You don't need to start with pay themes, just like how you didn't have to hire anyone to create your logo. Same goes for the store theme, you can have it done totally professional and you don't have to pay a dime. Once again, when you start generating sales and you start having some profits in your store, you can use that money to invest on things like store themes, paid apps to convert more sales and so forth. So let's head over to your Shopify store, click on online store, click on themes. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see your theme library here. Click on explore free themes. And here you have some free themes, which is once again, more than enough to get started. As you can see, each theme looks a little bit different from the next. For example, here you have the menu on the left and the photos on the right. Here you have a banner on the top and the products on the bottom. Shopify's default theme is the debut theme. And once again, this default theme is more than enough. But if you want to choose a different theme, simply click on it. Here you can read about its features. You can choose different styles for the theme. And after you choose your style, simply click on add to theme library. Now you can see that it's adding the simple theme, but it didn't activate it yet. In order to activate it, simply wait for it to load. Now you have to click on actions and publish. Now it's asking you if you're sure that you want to publish it instead of the debut regular default theme. Once again, click on publish. And that's it, your theme is published. And now your store will be going with that simple theme instead of the debut theme. Now the themes are totally customizable inside. So just because you chose a theme doesn't mean that this is where it ends. You can always change the current theme and you can always customize the theme that you're working on. So there's a whole bunch of options to play around with. And once again, the free themes are enough. Your assignment before heading on to the next lesson is to choose a theme that you liked for your store. Apply it to your store by using the publish option and I'll see you in the next lesson where you will finally add products to your store.